Hey, hey, so guys, today I'm here to show you how to make a no part full wig. And here is the hair that I'm using. I got this hair from Rosa Hair on AliExpress, and I used three bundles of their Peruvian curly hair. This is the cap I'm using to make the wig. And the first thing I always do is wash my extensions. So here is the hair after it's been washed and dried. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on my mannequin head. And starting from the back, I'm gonna start sewing the extensions onto the cap. I like to sew through the wefts just because I feel like it's a bit more sturdy, but you can definitely sew around them if you prefer that. I'm sewing straight around, and then when I get to the end, I'm flipping the hair over, moving up and continuing in the other direction. Okay, so I've sewed in the two bundles and I just followed the natural curve of the mannequin head. And now with the last bundle, I'm gonna start sewing the hair going straight across. Just like last time, when I get to the end, I'm going to fold over the weft and keep going forward until I get to the very front. So the unit is done and now I'm going to put it on. I left out a small section of my hair on the side and I rotted it so it will blend in with the extensions. And then I made a braid going straight across. So I'm gonna line up the unit with that braid and sew it down right onto it. Once that's secure, I'm taking out the rods and blending my hair with the extension hair. I'm just taking my hair and intertwining it with the Peruvian hair so it will blend seamlessly. And then lastly, I'm going in and lightly layering the hair and cutting off those scraggly ends. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. And believe it or not, this is actually my first time doing this type of install. And um, I think it came out pretty good. I'm actually really happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know how you like it. Um, so anyway, when I first got this hair, I knew that I wanted to do a complete full no part install but I also knew that I didn't want to cut my wefts and all the other videos that I've seen on a similar style like this they cut their wefts like in the front so I just wanted to bring you guys an alternative because I know some of you also don't like cutting your wefts you know just in case you may want to reuse your extensions for another install or whatever the case may be. So what I did is I basically just mimicked the half wigs that you can find in the beauty supply store and I just laid my wefts going straight across all the way up towards the front and yeah this is how it turned out. You can still wear your hair pushed over to the side like I have mine and you can also wear it pushed to the back or to the other side. You still have that versatility and I also wanted to do a tutorial with some hair that was a little bit more affordable because I'm always getting questions like hey Kim do you have any recommendations for some less expensive hair and I'm always like I don't really know so I wanted to try out Rose's hair because I had seen a couple of video reviews here on YouTube about it and they were pretty good so I wanted to try them out for myself and see how the hair was so this hair is really really soft it feels amazing and luxurious I really like the way it feels like I said in the tutorial I have in three bundles and this hair is pretty full it's not super super full but it does have a nice density to it and it's also really light like it feels like I don't even have anything on my head and I also really love this texture I think it's super super pretty and I just really like how it kind of has that natural hair look now one thing I did notice though about this hair is that it does shed a lot more than the hair that I usually wear so when I washed it and also whenever I run my fingers through it, 
I do get some hair coming out. So that concerns me a little bit because, you know, obviously I want my hair to last as long as possible. And um, so I'm hoping it won't start looking really skimpy and stringy super fast. And another thing I noticed about this hair is that the ends aren't as thick and full as the top. So once you start getting towards the bottom, it does start getting a little sparse. So I would definitely say if you were to get this hair to size up, so for instance, if you want your hair to be 20 inches, then I would go for a 24 or a 26 inch, just because you might have to cut some off and even it up to make it look thick and blunt all the way down. Um, but aside from that, this hair does seem like it's pretty decent quality, especially for the price that it is. This three bundle deal that I got, which is the 16, 18, 20 inch, is on the Rosa site for less than 170. I think it's like 160 something. So you can get three bundles, a full head install for less than 200 bucks, which in this day and age is pretty solid. So yeah, I'm definitely loving the look. I'm digging this style. I'll certainly let you guys know if I run into any issues down the line. Like if it starts tangling or matting or just going crazy. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. So I think I pretty much covered everything about this hair. If I missed anything, you know, I'll just put it below. If any of you have any questions, just let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon on my next video. Bye guys.